Officials held a news conference in the last half hour, and at this point, there has been no sign of that eight year old boy. But I can tell you that we did learn the name of that eight year old boy. His name is Brian Nolasco Morales. And as you can see right behind me, we're on the Lawrenceburg Bridge. You can see that there's a spotter at the very end of the bridge keeping an eye on any activity. Now, that boy fell into the Great Miami River. Just to give you an idea exactly where he fell in, it was near the Whitewater River and the Great Miami River where they come together. And officials say that's a really dangerous area because when those two rivers come together, it basically makes a whirlpool effect. And officials say right now they're canvassing a two mile stretch of the river. Sadly, this all happened on Labor Day. It was a Labor Day fishing trip when the boy fell in. We're told a family member tried jumping into the water to grab him, but at that point, it was just too late. Officials are now heading back onto the water. Fortunately, this morning's rain did not set them back. Officials say they're using multiple different resources to find that boy. Now, officials say that they have set up a briefing area just not too far away from where we are right now, actually at the fire department. They said they're going to be making updates every half hour to every 60 minutes. We'll, of course, be following this for you and let you know if there is any update. But for now, reporting live, Zach Pitts, 9 on your side.